Marty Crash, who came in the last minute there with a big entrance, but we're glad he is here. Uh, Hallmark Channel has a new movie, our new original ad is called The Christmas Ornament. Kelly Martin was here yesterday, your yes. co-host. Yes. Uh, Cameron Matheson is here. He's talking with she us more. About or his co-star, co rather. Oh, star. Sorry. I got a little ahead of myself, and then I backed up. <laughs> I, I nodded. I was like, yes, my co-host. <laughs> so, exactly. Co yeah. um, speaking of co-hosts, um, you guys had chemistry, <clears throat> as opposed to, <laughs> to us, we, we were talking about this. We actually yeah. uh, have yeah. wonderful chemistry yeah. together. Yeah. You guys had this, and, and because when you do, you act, you're in one movie and then another and yeah. another. Yeah. Is it rare to come across that sort of on-screen chemistry you guys had? First I think I, you know, on some level, it definitely is. Um, you know, Kelly's amazing, and she made it very, very easy. But some some of these movies, I mean, like you show up. And the next day, you're like falling in love with each other on, on yeah. in, in the show and the script, and so it, you've got it's got to like you, you really have to trust each other. And essentially, it comes down to that really being kind of grounded and, and genuine and confident and very trusting of each other in, in that environment because you're kind of like just putting it all out there, especially in that kind of a schedule. When you yeah. shoot these sorts of films where there's a romantic connection, yes, you want to shoot those early. In case the relationship a couple of weeks down the road gets funny or you don't well, like you know, each other? Well, truthfully, or? I would probably wait a little bit. I, I would yeah. rather it be towards the end of the, the, the But they tip, don't they typically yeah. try to shoot those yeah. early on? Uh, the I think afterwards, so there would be you know, a I more don't of a connection. That. Yeah. I, truthfully, they, they, they sh I think they shoot it wherever it's cheapest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know now they, they do. These days they do. Yeah, absolutely. Wherever the set but, uh, falls in. <laughs> yeah. I noticed, though, because yesterday when Kelly was here, she was so friendly, so open, so accessible. Yes. You liked her Immediately, yes. I don't even know her, and I fell in love. Yeah, with her. you love Kelly. But she's like fantastic. She is, but you have that same. You walked into the house, you own the room, you're very open and friendly as well. So you know, you you draw the person right in. So I can see how that just worked perfectly. Well, thank but you. That's, Are you that's, flirting that's, right that's now? No, I'm not. I'm paying him a compliment. Okay, I just wanted to check. I just you want to show me around the house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would. Oh, yes, I know. Yeah, you'll be in the <laughs> kitchen <laughs> cooking any minute now because that's that's very sweet. I appreciate it. No, but it's nice to hear because like you never know. Yeah. You never know. Well, let's take a look at it. Set up. Okay. Set this little snippet. Up from okay. the film that we're about to see, and we'll see you guys in action. Okay, so this is the first time the two characters meet, and and the sort of the backstory is they're both sort of on the verge of of going for a second shot at life, uh, you know, in romance at life. Yeah. And and this is uh, my character owns a Christmas tree Christmas tree shop, which I love. This is in the shop, and this is the scene. How's All right. that? Let's take a look. Content aside, what do you think of the form? Like cute and quaint, or? Holiday hoarder. I like it, actually. It's um, nonconformist, outside the lines. It's too busy, isn't it? Way too busy. Should have stuck with the trees. Trees, I know. You looking for a tree, Kathy Howard? Not this year, but my friend is. Is she out there with Connor? Is he the kid who's memorized the Wikipedia Christmas tree page? Affirmative. <laughs> we should probably go rescue her. <laughs> oh, I can see. I, no, and that was one of the first. I mean, we literally met like I don't know, probably forty hours before that, which is yeah, that's nice. She's such a sweetie. I, yeah, I love but there watching was, her. See connection. That's Could you? Great. Yeah, it's absolutely. really what wasn't being said in that that spoke the loudest between you guys, between those characters. I don't know what which you're talking a, about. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm glad. I mean, that's that's essentially what you know people like to to see. Otherwise, it's, it's obviously. Very how do you? How you know? You come across as. Really, today's guy, you know. If I can, what do you? I should be like the, the marriage counselor. <laughs> We're totally having had our own conversation. Are you? She's you complaining that you're not allowed to. No, no. Can I get okay. you a cheese ball or something, and she <laughs> no. gets a snack on while you're no. uh, having no. this? I'm, no. Yes. I, I, May I? Please. Go no, ahead. it's it's difficult sometimes in the, in the world that we live in to find guys that are the yeah. either the macho guys or the more sensitive guy. Mm -hmm. Would you fall in which category if, if we were to label you as that? You mean like in real life or this character? Yeah, no, in real life. I, I would have to say I'm probably on the more sensitive side. Of the, yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. is. I mean, I try to be macho. Like it's yeah. it's a battle. It just doesn't really. It doesn't. Really doesn't. Work. But it, it is tough. I mean, there's, as as we kind of go through, like some reason my boys and there's that side. Yeah. You have to. You want to really be accessible. Where well, my dad was never that way with me. How do you wear that comfortably? Wearing that sensitive moniker? I completely, I completely do now. I, I, I embrace it. I, you know, it's, it's something that I think took me a while to embrace. It's, it wasn't, it wasn't, 
Yeah, it was sort of a, a learned state. And, and for this for this type of character, it comes in really handy. I mean, things that, that you learn in, in relationships and in, in real life, learning to, to put others before yourself, learning to truly and purely cherish somebody else, listening, mm -hmm. uh, taking responsibility for your own uh, fault in a conflict, things like this that obviously help all relationships and, and kind of like, you know, help you connect at a heart level, right. which is in a way what really makes the, the chemistry happen. Well, it right. sounds like that's what you do with your family. You have a, a wife and children? I do. Yeah. I have a beautiful you... wife, two beautiful kids, uh, 10 and 7 year old. There they are. Oh my goodness. And uh, my dog obviously wasn't looking at the camera, so I'm trying to help them there. <laughs> <laughs> Unsuccessfully. But yeah, it's uh, Vanessa, Lucas, and Layla, and oh, Red. The, um, um, Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how when you how do you use that? You talked about how they help <clears throat> your on camera work. Yeah, I, living life and being the dad and being the husband. How does sure. that how does that assist you? Well, I think any time that um, you know you go through anything in life as an actor, anyway, mm -hmm. little, little pieces, little bits of that can help you inform characters, and especially for for, for Tim, this character in, in Christmas Ornament. Who I really loved. I love playing this guy. He, you know, I learned from. I, I like to learn from the characters a little bit too. And um, yeah, I, I think just sort of as I was saying, just really trying. He, he was just a, a genuinely like good, kind man, right. and he he really tried, like I said, to try to cherish others purely without like sort of self involvement in there. And I think that's a that's a great lesson for all of us. I don't know, especially during the holiday season. Good. Always, always during the holiday season. Always, uh, always. It, it, yeah, and this I'm telling you, some Hallmark has some wonderful movies this time of year yeah. too yeah, to, is, to gather the family around. I mean, Tradition, perfect for Hallmark. It is. I, yeah. Like, <laughs> great. Traditions? Any traditions? A Christmas tree? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. lots. Uh, how, yeah, uh, it was the night before Christmas, right before the night. You know, we're reading it as a family. We do, oh, there's, there's so many. I mean, we're like tradition overload. It's like, Well, yeah. you can make this weekend a tradition uh, for, for you if you want. You can nestle up in front of the TV. Uh, Christmas ornament premieres Saturday the 16th on Hallmark Channel at 7, uh, 8 o'clock, 7 central.